Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector 1 here with another Sugar Man Build-A-Figure review. Um, this is Sunfire uh, from the Age of Apocalypse. Um, and yeah, he, I, I, this guy looks pretty cool to be honest. Um, I've been looking all over the place for these guys. Found them while I was out grocery shopping for Walmart today. Um, and... I heard like a lot, not a lot of people have been getting these or finding these because of the virus, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, let's look what we got here around the box. So here he is out of the pa in the package, I mean. Uh, Sunfire, here's the side art here. Here's the logo on top, the Age of Apocalypse. Here's the back. Here's all the figures that come, uh, that you have to get to build Sugar Man. Here's the um, description of Sunfire. You can pause it and look at it. Here's the UPC. But besides that, let's crack this thing wide open. And here's Sunfire right out of the packaging. To be honest, he looks really cool. He looks a lot better out of the package and a lot better out uh, than it does in the video right now. But this guy has a lot going on. So the fist. Look like the same fists that they used for uh, Human Torch for the Super Scroll build a figure. Like the same exact ones, basically. Unfisted hands, fisted hands. Um, the back, I like how they did with the flame effect. Something like what they did with Ghost Rider. The mask looks pretty cool. The back with flames looks sick. And then throughout the entire body, they used like transparent plastic to give it like a what do you want to say like a I want to say like more I know it's see-through duh but I don't know I can't find a word that's it describe it but I like the little lines that they put into it the black lines too looks sick but and then the feet, you can definitely see it, it's see-through right there. You can even see the, like, the little peg right there. I can see. Rotating there. You can kind of see the, like, the little pieces and how they built the figure kind of through this. See, like, look for, oh, shoot. Like for the bicep swivel. Gotta get light for it. But, yeah, you can kind of see the peg right there. Uh, for the arms, you can barely see it because as it gets thicker, it's less see-through. But I actually like this figure a lot. Like I've said in the last video, I don't know much about the Age of Apocalypse comic line. Uh, I might look into it. Um, but yeah, let's go through the articulation for this guy here. So, his head can move down that far. He can move his head up. Oops. Uh, I think I took, yep, I took his head off. Hang on for a sec. Ah, that far because of that flame. I had to talk to my dad real quick. Um, so he can move his head up that far. The flames are in the way, so kind of like stops it right there. Um, he can crunch that far forward. He can move back that far. He has 360 rotation around his pelvis. His arms can move up far, same amount as uh, Morph. 360 rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, if I can get it there. Hinge up and down that far, up not that much for this arm because the flames in the way, I'm pretty sure it's the same way with this. Um, 360 rotation. Um, you can move his legs out that far, thigh cut forward that much, backwards not that much, double jointed knees, shin cut, um, you can move up that far, down this far, and ankle pivot. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for that. Um, sorry about that, I had to talk to my buddy, which is someone that I'm not to, about to bring up. Make sure you check out my buddy's uh, photography Instagram page at Highline Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with. Make sure you check their car pages out. Christian's car page is Bad Buick 767. Connor's car page is 
Loud Jeep 07. He has a different car right now, so I'm not sure if he's going to change the name or not. Um, and then also my PayPal will be in the description. It's supposed to have my out help me out with getting more figures to do reviews on i'm planning on doing a stop motion uh film with them um also to react to more games like what i'm doing with, with resident evil 3 i want to get avengers i want to get cyberpunk 2077 also i'm planning on doing something cool with the first hundred subscribers i need the money to be able to do it first and subscribers um so to uh for those first hundred subscribers, I'm planning on giving you guys free hoodies if I get the money, of course, and subscribers. Um, and then you guys can give me design ideas and that design idea that you'll give me, I will be doing videos on making those design ideas and then each design idea that you give me, or not each one, that design idea that you give me, that'll be your hoodie. Okay, one sec. Um, but, um, besides that, oh yeah, also, make sure you, uh, share this with others so it increases the chances of me being able to do that, um, and possibly help me donate. If you can't, that's okay. If you can, that'll be very appreciative. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got, so make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.